Agility has been a, a very supportive sponsor of ours for a long time and we value their input and value their partnership, uh, especially in today's environment. You know, today's all about accuracy of forecast, right? How could you get, how could you not think about your forecast, especially with an environment like ours? Customer wants something tomorrow. Actually, no, they want it yesterday, right? So you need to get that accuracy right. So look, what they offer and our opportunity to facilitate our members and talk about challenges is a brilliant opportunity for us. My name's Tim Williamson, I'm the Regional Director for Legility. Legility is a supply chain planning uh, optimization solution that focuses on really delivering business benefit to, to, the, uh, to companies that have supply chain planning challenges. Um, forecasting is just one of those things that really does drive how a business performs. So when you look at um, the effect of forecasts across a business, it has a, um, a multiplier effect where uh, every percent improvement in forecast accuracy, for example, improves your customer service by 2.6 percent. So that's a, an, anal and an analysis by Gartner. So it really does have quite a significant ROI in terms of in terms of your effort. So companies tend to have quite a strong focus on on forecasting because they can see that knock-on effect throughout the supply chain. So it's really a, a blend of using the proven technologies, proven approaches from the past, which have really served companies well. But companies are starting to find they've got more data and they want to be able to react more quickly. So it could be things like um, demand sensing, being able to better identify the, the quick changes that are happening in the market or the, the changes that are happening all the time through to using all of the data that they've got. So scan data, uh, could be business related data, housing starts, things like that that really affect um, the, the demand and do some multi-causal analysis. Well, with the history we have, you would expect that after many decades of forecasting, it's getting easier and we're getting better, but no. Ranges are growing, lead times are shrinking, and product life cycles are shrinking. This and many other factors like the Amazon effect mean that it's getting more and more difficult to generate accurate forecasts with effectiveness and efficiency. So there are more and more methods coming to market and smart planners are looking at how do I blend these methods to use a combination of the right methods at the right time. Smart planners can combine these different forecasting methods with segmentation, like ABC analysis, but also product lifecycle analysis, so that, for example, you could use a uh, demand profile approach where you combine data mining and artificial intelligence to generate lifecycle profiles at the launch phase. And then when you get to product maturity, you can use a best fit approach or a tournament approach combined with event and, and promotional forecasting. And then you might switch back to a demand profile approach when you get to the phase out approach. So smart planners are finding the right blend of methods to generate greater forecast accuracy but with more efficiency. Demand sensing itself is one of the newer methods in demand forecasting and demand sensing can be thought of as forecasting very near term in shorter time buckets much closer to the customer. So we've known for decades about initiatives like VMI and CPFR to try and get closer to the customer but when you can use demand signals that are your customer's demand or your customer's customer's demand it provides you with the ability to generate these really short term, like day one to 14, or up to a few weeks, maybe six weeks maximum, forecasts. And you can use them for not necessarily production or purchasing because of the lead times, but for short term supply chain planning operations like inventory deployment, DRP, and inventory rebalancing. The ASCII breakfast series is something that we've put on for a couple of years now. And it's really all about getting together with our community supply chain uh, experts around the country because we hold them in all capital cities. And it's a great opportunity for them to get together with us as a facilitator and our uh, sponsors and our corporate members to talk about the challenges in the supply chain industry.